This is Adam with Eaglewood Homes. Today, I'm going to show you how to check the pilot light on your water heater. The first thing we're going to look for is this status light right here. If that's not blinking, that means we have no pilot light and we need to do a little further investigation. So the first thing we want to look for if we have no pilot light is just to make sure that our gas is in the on position. Keep in mind, all gas appliances have their own individual shutoffs. So your stove, fireplace, furnace, water heater are all going to have their own individual shutoff. It looks kind of like this guy right here. Right now, it's in the off position. I like to remind people that uh, perpendicular to the line is off. Parallel to the line is on. So right now, it's parallel, and I have gas going to the appliance. So we're going to go over to this side and get this thing lit. So right now, the temperature sitting is still at B, which is generally where we leave it. But notice when it's right there, I don't have the ability to push this button in. What we want to do is rotate this button down to where it's directly on pilot. That allows us to push and hold the button in. Directly below that, there's a little lightning bolt. That's our igniter switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this igniter switch until our status light starts blinking again. So there we go. Our status light is now blinking, so we can let go of that button. We can rotate it back up to our desired temperature setting. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much.